Well, how about that? We <laughs> we did kill her right as the recording was ending. Talk about an awkward place to clip. But oh well. The important thing is, is we uh, we got it. Sorry for any lost, uh, distorted boss dialogue. But, uh... Okay, we got a Gaia minion. We're not gonna win, because we allowed it to 27. No helmet fell down, so we might as well just roll whatever. Uh... Fuck it. Clyde's not going to get to use that for a while. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, back to the part you care about. The story, right? Well, I guess we won't have to worry about her being tempered because she has the echo if she's an Asian. So, well, that's all good. the necklace. Oh, she lied to you, okay? And technically, she said she keeps it somewhere safe. I'm pretty sure not that she left it directly back in the Crystarium. But, whatever. Okay, so we have say dialogue that we gotta do, and all we have to do is have Gaia in there, so we just gotta go like, Gaia, oh, no, not go Gaia, Gaia, you spunky bitch, get up and kiss Reen. It worked! You don't have to add all that extra stuff. You just need to say Gaia. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. I swear, gu uh, Thancred's gunblade gets bigger every time we see it. Because it's like not that big when he's wielding it. Remember all, Gaia was designed by Tetsuya Nomura. Ooh. Free to be reborn, huh?
kind of didn't have a choice. I mean, we did kill him. Until we meet again. Artemis. That's like the... Was it the Greek goddess of the hunt and the moon? That was Mitron's true name? Huh. Hmm, that low-key means that in their original life, assuming that, you know, the last life was their raised, sundered shards, which they were, uh, in their original Amaro teen life, they could have been lesbians. Because Artemis is a girl's name, and so is Gaia's. Gaia is like the... What do they call them? The, uh, Titans? Yeah, Titans. And, um, in Greek mythology. The race that gave birth to the gods. Oh, jeez. Walked too long in high heels. That necklace, if it, it really is made out of everlasting ice, it must be hella cold. And it's a physics-defying necklace, too, because... It, it can't, um, it can't transfer heat if it can't melt. So it, it can't, heat can't be transferred into it. Now I suppose physics define necklaces or, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak, in a fantasy world, where we have soul transmigration and transcendent beings that live for all eternity. You cut in with the gun blade? Really? Seriously? I wonder what chose, or what led them to put all the voice acting in the fights and in the middle of the fights while well, you got all these sound effects and things going on, but in the actual dialogue, it's like it's all, it's all red, like you don't, uh, no voice acting for them in the, in the actual cutscenes. Hmm. Eden looks better as a tree. My question is, like, I get that magic can just pretty much create anything in this game, but like, you know, it's also established that there are things like seeds, and, you know, fish, and, uh, other such, you know, actual things that have to be planted and taken care of. But this large aether surge, boom, full-grown trees, like, what? So much for the botany quest line. Might as well just become a sorcerer. 
Oh, look, mushrooms, too, which feed on death, which implies that some of this stuff should be dead. Yeah, that is your soul. You realize that, don't you, Gaia? A pretty zone that we'll never go to. Ever again. Huh. Well, Gaia, Gaia could cross the rift, I guess, because she's an Asian. But she'd have to give up her physical body to do that. And then take over a new host. I, I doubt she knows how to do that, so... fruit that grows here. How do you know that there's fruit around here? Thancred the bookworm and Yurion J the knight in shining armor. <laughs> you got it backwards, Gaia. I can't tell if she's trying to joke. Or not. You still remember how to to drive? Okay. Whatevs. I had not intended to do three recordings, but the, the cut places were just so, so bad. <laughs> Buy herself a sky slipper because she's rich. And yeah, we could teleport to Mordzuk, but it's just like it's so it's basically right there and in, in terms of flying, so Never forget the smell, huh? Hmm. Well, now that it's actually worth going out there, I guess it'd be good. Especially since there's just mushrooms that happen to be 
growing despite the fact that they need to be on so decaying something and her real identity huh no we already know that one buddy you're talking about her you more an identity She's like, I don't want to know. Gotta be honest, as far as the storyline goes for this raid series, it peaked in the second second portion of the raid series. I honestly don't really I'm not invested in Gaia at all, even with her being an Asian or whatever. Although I guess with her being an Asian that that leaves room for her to be in the main story some more. But who's to say that she ever will be? You know, other than the script writers, and if she ever will be, it won't be for another patch or two, major patch, so not for another four months at a minimum. Festival time. <laughs> Although they they don't let us ever see the festival, so or at least I haven't yet. Maybe next patch. Who knows? Another quest appears like right over here to unlock Savage. We'll unlock Savage, but I'm never gonna show that on Clyde. Uh, if I do any Savage rating, it'll be on my own time, and doesn't really go with a Let's Play, so it's just another memory crystal again. He's telling us that the report for the final venture hasn't been written yet, so we'll have to wait for Reen to write it. I guess Yuri Anger was writing the reports before, but... Oh, Gaia wrote it this time. Uh -huh. Riveting read, you say?
Board snacks? What are you, crazy? It's another memory water crystal. Wouldn't that make them Mitron's memories? But, nah, whatever. Parting gift from Mitran. Okay. <sighs> Only room for two in Gaia's Sky Slipper. Okay. She just wants to get rain to herself. Smoochy, smoochy. Of course, they won't show smooching on screen because they sell this game in China. So, one thing I will never understand is like people don't like China because it's, you know, bigoted. But they vote for politicians in my country that are bought and paid for by the Chinese. So, but ah, eh, whatever. Now then. We could upgrade his tank gear, but that would be a very small upgrade. And we don't really need to, since I'm not going to take him into the Savage. And like I was saying before, I want to upgrade his, uh, his Dragoon. And we've only got a couple upgrades we can get anyway. Or, oops, that's the wrong... <laughs> I need Promise Antique Exchange is what I need. Okay. So, those earrings are decent. Let's see, the wristband sucks. Oh wait, wait, was that? No, no, that's the necklace that sucks. The wristlet's pretty good. And the ring is meh. But interestingly, these have two materia slots. And normally, the, all the previous tiers for the normal mode accessories, they did not. One of my friends was saying that, that that was a mistake on Square Enix's part, and they found it too late to fix it or something. And honestly, uh, I'm glad that they made that mistake because... I think it's dumb that the first accessories that had two materia slots, uh, they, um, they were item level 460. And anything that was 460 or higher got two slots. And then the next patch, the stuff that was item level 480, one slot. Like, why the fuck would you do that to me, you know? But, that eh, could be worse. Let's see. We might be able to pick up some, if, if not the new crafted gear, we might be able to pick up some old crafted gear, depending on if its price went up or not, or if there's even any on the market board. This is an awkward time, because with people coming back, um, people are going to try to price gouge as much as possible. So, yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, we don't really have any, you know, ge actual gear that's beyond I-430. Kind of, kind of let Clyde's jobs suffer, but I mean, the point of leveling more than one of the jobs was more or less to, uh, you know, just to, just to do 
the storyline and the, the role quests. So it wasn't like a, a big deal or a big thing that I wanted to, you know, do. I don't think he's going to come up with any extra money. Hmm. Well, that's okay. We can... We can just buy the item of 480 stuff and catch him up a little bit or something. Doesn't, we don't need to, like, go crazy buying stuff here. Also, any of the crafted gear that is currently best in slot or whatever is going to be outrageously expensive because... Uh, people are crazy. So... Man, I am not spending 400k for old, old stuff. That's crazy. 100k is, 100k is very doable. Clamp those. Uh, back to the goatskin lake guard space. I want him to be silly looking. No. To look like a low level adventurer. <laughs> I don't know, I just I really liked that early portion of the let's play. I was when Clyde started looking like this, and you know, I r started really feeling like he was an actual character and, and like competent stuff, even though that was a long time ago, and obviously that was pretty low levels, you know, like the 20s and 30s. Man, this is uh, some weird substat allocation I got going on here. I don't think he's really got any materia to use either, because I sold most all of it. I didn't sell all of it, but I, I sold a lot of his materia to make some money. Make a quick buck. This should suffice for getting the story done. Um, I'm not... I don't remember, quite remember the... Uh, the... Um, come on, brain, work with me. My brain will work one of these days. Average item level needed for the storyline dungeon. But I, I guess another thing we could pick up real quick, we, we could pick up like I-440 pants or something from the Ronkin gear. Oh wait, they got deep shadow gear here now? Huh. Well, how about that? That's item level 460. That would be... We, we could pick up... Uh, A helmet, yeah, that that would that would be a jump. That's a thirty item level jump. Don't even have to rearrange his glamour. It's a pretty cool looking helmet though. Makes you look like Batman. Unfortunately, uh I'd have to augment it to dye it. And it doesn't really die that well, so But it could be worse. So there's a lot of stuff we can show off now. And, um... I don't know what the Minstreling Wanderer wants to talk about. I have no idea what he wants to talk about. It's probably one of the extremes that I didn't unlock yet, like Hades Elegy or something. Oh, Warrior of Light Extreme. Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna... I, I don't care about the Minstreling Wanderers, like, song or whatever. Or haiku. Sorry if you do, I don't. That's just another extreme fight. It was the uh, most recent extreme fight for uh, the last patch. The Seed of Sacrifice Extreme. 
so. And it is now old news, it is now old hat, so. Now, if you found yourself in the position of needing to catch up on item level, uh, and you were up to 5.3 but you didn't have gill, you could take whatever job you're trying to gear up, and you could take it to Puppet Spunker again and again and again, because the weekly limit on that is now gone. And here, we get a unique quest line that you only get if you did all four rule quests, which Clyde did, so we get to show that off now. I don't think any of it's voice acted. Yeah, I've got all of them, but I gave I gave uh get the fire crystal to Seto. accepted it's really not much of a quest honestly it's, it's mo mostly just a good I guess final like sort of closure for the role quest NPCs <laughs> Lou Reek owes Gaia drinks. Okay. I swear that Ora has been AFK there all day, for like the past 24 hours. I'm curious about this player that's wearing all the metallic blue. Gets spanked. Not, not get spanked, it's... Uh, no, it, okay, it is get spanked, but... Okay, whatever. Just someone being flamboyant. Does catch the eye, though, I will admit. Please try to exercise some restraint. I'll not carry you back to the room again. Well, Tanner, Tanner's been taking care of Sirig and not the other way around, apparently. All right, you're all here. Tell me that the barmaid was one of Nyalbert's companions, not to mention the Shadow Keeper, and from a different world? That's landed on a bit thick. Certainly raises questions. Quite, such as how she retains her youthful visage. Not that. Granson looks mad at Lurik, he's like, ah. You're thinking about the wrong thing, you horny cat boy. I had my suspicions about her. The other night I was at the counter, quaffling my ale, having a grand time, and next I realize I'm outside without a guild of my name. And it ain't the first time. It can only be the power of the Shadow Keeper. And not that you drink enough to fell a small army.
Whoa, it's a lot of booze. Oh, it's cannon. Clyde drinks. I hate to disappoint, but I'm not much for alcohol. This juice looks nice, though. No, oh, that's not... Man, Granson cannot handle his booze. Like, at all. It's probably the reason he doesn't drink. You'd think he would have smelled the alcohol, though. Poor guy. How did you manage this? Twice the mess and half the time as normal patrons, I swear. I overheard your conversation, by the way. Do you agree with your friends? Mm. They would know best. that angle they don't look as damaged and their color seems a little bit better too <laughs> maybe they soaked up some ether from all of Clyde's travails They probably thought you were a badass since you could turn into a giant werewolf and still wield a sword. Not to mention you had like five mouths. Why didn't you tell me you could do that earlier? I mean, that's pretty cool, honestly. A week's worth of earnings. Let me tell you something, buddy. Uh, if you were working minimum wage in the U.S., let's see, and you worked five days a week, and you worked 40, 40 hours in a week, well, let's just say that instead of five. Uh, you know, you'd only be making uh, like $290 a week. And it would be super easy to piss that away on a few bottles of alcohol. Alcohol is insanely expensive. Which is a good thing, honestly. Otherwise, I'd be fatter than I am. Although, I guess I'm not, like, super duper fat. But, man, I almost weigh 190 pounds now. And I know some people that might sound like I'm a twig. But, trust me, I'm developing a gut. And it's just not fun. The hero's journey, huh? A knuckle high, huh? That nigh unpronounceable name sounds familiar. You're not just going to tell her, Clyde? Yeah, whatever. Woo! Apparently, Clyde's not just going to tell her.
Could be worse though, I suppose. I mainly am doing the things I am in the order that I'm I am because I wanted to avoid main story like spoilers for people because a lot of people don't get to play on Tuesday uh, this weekend will be pretty damn busy uh, because um, you know people who work during the week like I'm sure they try to get on but they don't, they can't always like you know some people will be working 12 13 hour days even even with the pandemic and uh, and maybe even because of it and so they don't get to play throughout the week so they only really get to play on the weekend so weekend weekend players are gonna you know come in big time but you know not everyone's gonna get around to the main story on the week first week some people uh, don't even get around to it uh, until like the third or fourth week because they're uh, focused on progressing and savage or uh, you know some other such stuff well, we gotta wait for the entrance point to load in I kind of wish they would just put a zone line on that door. But, oh well. Maybe the way instances are programmed, they can't. We'll talk to Crowl a little later. For some reason, this is the order they expect you to do it in. Because if you, if we talk to Kryl now, some of the Scions are going to go off and do stuff, and then those same Scions are going to immediately walk back in here to help us out with an Ukulhai. So, Comrade of Swords, huh? Our newfound immortality, huh? So he's at least over a hundred years old as well. If not thousands of years older. Considering the world of darkness was the first place they tried to rejoin and they wound up voiding it so he's thousands of years old and so is Silva mm Sure, I'll help. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. So we should call in uh, Catboy Sage Deluxe, right? The um, Grahatia. But no, we've called in Yuri Ange, I guess. I mean, I guess he helped. Yeah, you think Clyde reads? You think he's smart enough for that?
Oh, so you zapped him into a crystal off screen, huh? An uncle high is as I and the other scions were on the first. A soul with form, yet no true body. Thus was a simple matter to transfer him to the vessel using the self-same process as before. To withdraw his essence once across the rift ought to prove similarly straightforward. However, I fear that such an existence cannot sustain itself indefinitely. Look to the Asian's example. Their persistent use of flesh and blood vessels surely hath cause. Be it danger akin to that which have befallen us, had we not returned to the source, I know not. But the time may come when the boy requireth a full, fully corporeal form. Well, it could be that the Asians don't need to actually take host bodies. They might just need to, um... You know, uh, play Invasion of the Body Snatchers and whatnot. But, uh... We'll see how far we can get to this quest line in this recording. We might as well, since I've gone this far. Oh, man, I'm stiff. Glad's gear kind of sucks right now, but that's okay. He's like, but I, I will say he is like 500 strength behind where he should be at. So it's, and that that's technically, he's 500 behind entry level gear for this tier, but yeah, well. He can't have everything. Best not tell anyone about this, lest you suddenly find yourself everyone's first choice in interworld fairy services. You did what? After all of the perils your friends faced and the labors we undertook to return them to your world, and you've brought another soul across the rift, have you no common sense? Fine, just work your magics, or magics, whatever. Did he just call Clyde Welp? Wow, all the... Wh what nerve? Does Clyde have to kick your ass again? Because I will have Clyde kick your ass again. What do you say after that? break let's see uh, I think the markets are the closest place to the eatery don't really remember too well I'm a my memory is about as good as guy ha <laughs> Kind of think of it. Gaia kind of looks like an avatar from Gaia Online. Hmm. Hey, baby, I brought you. I brought you an Unukalai. Clyde's still not just telling Silva that he brought a nuclear high.
<laughs> Erstwhile hero of the 13th, serving libations at the wandering stairs. Was that you at Grunes Licht so long ago? Not so long to me, or you, mayhap. Though I had thought I might at last put those days behind me. But perhaps this is for the best. They're not all bad memories. They never are. Unaware or unconcerned with their fellows. I guess maybe because they were so strong they could beat primals by themselves and then encase them in orasite. I mean, you could walk on stuff, and you could live there. I, at least, I mean, we fought, you know. The only real problem is all the void sent in the cloud of darkness. be I don't think that would be possible because we no we could do that I guess but eh whatever no oh, you mean trainor or Tainor I mean Sounds good to me, Bag Luke. Alright. Well, we're pretty much almost out of time anyway. Uh, so I'm going to cut the video here. And next time we'll see how Unoklahai gets on with Taenor. And that's a pretty interesting quest in its own. And then we'll go about our other quests that we have to do. And this, the most recent of patches... Until then, stay safe, have a nice day, and uh, I'll see you again. <laughs>